in this series we are going to build an oven controller this is the first episode um, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to use to build it um, my use case is building an oven controller for and making enamel signs your use case may vary but I'm very sure you can adapt it to your use case so this is all I got I bought it as a kit so um, this is the PID controller it's a nice and large one oh, nice large digits um, I got a solid state relay the solid state relay is rated up to 40 amps I'm not needing 40 amps but it's best to over spec it a bit um, I got a heat sink to go with it. Um, those screws are weren't part of the kit. I supplied them myself, but they fit really well. Um, then there's um, the thermocouple itself. This was also part of the kit. I am not going to use the thermocouple because uh, this one is only rated until up to 800, 800 degrees centigrade um, so I'm going to replace this with uh, this one this is um, a ceramically insulated one this one is rated up to over a thousand degrees I don't need that in my application but there wasn't really one in between so I got this one um, in addition to the kit, I have also bought a nice switch with a neon light. And to keep things safe, I'm going to add a fuse, so that's why I need a fuse holder. Uh, I haven't a fuse yet here, it's on its way. Um, to connect the... To connect um, the heating wire, I got um, one of these nice ceramic terminal blocks. And then I have got uh, a nice case to put everything in. This video, we are going to put it all together. And then in the third video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the thermocouple in the PID controller and how to set up the PID controller. Thanks for watching!